What is going on guys, it's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and welcome to the release of my NBA 2K24 slider set. Now, it's no secret that obviously NBA 2K24 has a load of problems and honestly a lot of them are not fixable with sliders. I would never come on here and lie to you and say that this slider set fixes everything. But the fact of the matter remains, there are a lot of people that still play this game, still play it on new gen, still play it on old gen and need and want good sliders that help them enjoy the game more than out of the box. Um, my my DMs and my comments uh, prove that fact. So the whole point of this slider set is to give you an enjoyable gaming experience that replicates NBA basketball as close as possible and alleviates is the word I'll use some of NBA 2K24's biggest issues. Now, with that being said, gone are the days when I can just come on here and post a list of numbers that are going to magically make your game play better. The reality of the situation is sliders are no longer enough to make this game play better and replicate NBA basketball. So the whole point of this set, honestly, it's not really a slider set as much as it is a formula. And that formula is gonna include four different components, all of which are critical to getting better gameplay. When you break it down, it comes down to coaching sliders, gameplay sliders, roster edits that are tendency edits, and badge edits. Now, this has already led people to ask, why have you chosen to make a roster this year to go along with your sliders? I thought you normally use the ATD rosters, and I do, normally. Um, I've been using the ATD rosters now for the past four years, and I want this video to be very clear. This, this is not a knock on them or their process. I think their process gives extremely great and challenging and rewarding gameplay. My problem with the ATD rosters and any roster project like it is when I head into franchise mode or my NBA, whatever you want to call it at this point, and you go into your year two and you have a new draft class and everyone has progressed and new badges are applied, then following season, the game plays nothing like it did in year one. So the goal with this formula is to get a formula that number one, you can apply before your very first season, and then you can reapply it in every following season so that you can get consistent, desirable gameplay. And speaking of gameplay, let's talk first and foremost about what these sliders actually do. And yes, they are available for new gen and old gen. And while there are slight differences between the two games, there's no need to have separate sliders for them. Um, these sliders have been tested extensively by myself and my community, and they play very well on both generations of the game. So the first goal with these sliders we wanted to achieve was tough, challenging gameplay, along with accurate stats. Now, we try to hit the NBA averages on most of our stats, but you will notice that some things will be higher or lower. Um, sometimes, you know, for example, if a CPU team shoots 55%, on you, you may need to work on playing better defense. If you shoot 42% in a game, uh, you may need to think about more creative ways to score, right? That's the whole point of an average. It's an average. It's going to be on the high end. It's going to be on the low end, or maybe it'll be right in the middle. But everything statistically for me has been very well within the range of NBA averages. And I guess on that point, I should point out that it also applies to the inverse, right? Like if the only shot that you take in an entire game is just holding R2 and driving to the lane with LeBron James and you shoot 60 times with them and you're just doing layups then yeah your field goal percentage will probably be a little bit high but the, the main point is these sliders support a simulation and realistic style of basketball. The next thing that we wanted to achieve is we really wanted to bring back the fast break. We wanted to bring it back to life. Now, this is a challenge every single year, but we were able to with badges and movement sliders uh, provided by my man Power UG, shout out to him. We were able to get the fast break to be very good. We get the, C the CPU to push the ball in transition. It works well, been having a blast and you guys have seen that on stream as well. Next and another thing that I try to emphasize every single year is we wanted to introduce a freedom back. I can't even say 
back but introduced the freedom of shot creation by severely nerfing 2K's shot contest system. Um, I've been the biggest proponent, the one saying that, listen, the presence of a defender does not equate to good defense. So it really makes you be creative with number one, how you defend tough scorers by throwing other men at them. And it really gives you the freedom to use your best scorer in any way you see fit when it comes to creating off the dribble. And lastly, VR coaching sliders, um, you can count on your AI controlled defenders to play logical defense specifically on pick and roll defense we wanted to just stop those instances of your CPU defenders running away from guys leaving them wide open um, obviously it's 2k so it, it, we were able to get it to a minimum I'm not saying it never happens but the you will notice a significant improvement in your AI teammates specifically on defense all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna set our game up and uh, I just opened opened up a franchise game and uh, we're going to set up our defensive settings, our coaching sliders, I um, and the rest of our settings. I really want to say first and foremost guys, this is uh, arguably the most important part of the set. So the sliders are important, rosters are important, the badges are important, but if you're going to skip this step, uh, you might as well skip the rest of it because uh, this whole set is based off of these settings. So first thing I want to say is our defensive settings and we are going to go in and do this for both teams. I'm going to show you what I've been running, um, this has been giving me good rotations, good pick and roll defense on both sides. So for on ball pressure, I do tight. Um, off ball pressure, I do tight as well. Um, you're gonna come down to hedge. I'm doing a catch hedge here. And for hedge center, you're gonna do a catch hedge there. Next, you wanna come down to post and you want to do three quarter top. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one. For stay attached, you're gonna do never. Um, I keep everything else at auto unless um there is a dominant player that you'd like to double so double perimeter double post you can switch that um per player but you know for now obviously we keep that manual unless uh, ad or lebron in this game goes off for screen help i put yes drive help i put yes cutter help i put yes everything else is auto that's been giving me great gameplay that's the uh the settings um what i meant by the double teams though was really quick if you press l1 or um, R1 you can change these settings per player so like for example say LeBron was going off I can come down here um, and I can individually uh, set him to be double teamed on the catch or something like that but I'm not going to do that right now so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to coaching sliders we're going to go to help defense I put help defense at 75 and for the users it's really important you put run plays at 100 so now that we've done those two settings, what you're going to do, and yes, you're going to do this every single time, every single game that you play, switch over to defensive settings, do the same exact thing. Go to tight, tight, catch hedge, catch hedge, stay attached is never, post, three quarters top, help, help, and help. Now you go to coaching sliders. You're gonna to go to help defense, 75. For the CPU, we've got run plays all the way to zero. Make sure you do this. Probably the most important part of this set. Um, a lot of people always think that, that makes the CPU not run plays. That's not accurate. I have heard that thrown around, um, but it does give them a lot more freedom in terms of how they run their plays and when they get into their set. So do keep that in mind. At that point, you're gonna switch back to you know whatever team that you're playing as. And I want to make sure I came in here because I know I get this question a lot of times. For next gen uh, broadcast Zoom 110, this is the camera that I use. Um, I get a lot of questions about the coaching settings. Um, these are this is what I use. So you can ask. Um, Ace is off. I've had Ace off for like what three years uh, since they've added it. Um, I have play vision on all plays. Um, everything's auto. I have defense on manual, um, but I have freelance series orders, dynamic, and then don't repeat. I mean, everything else is pretty much default. I'll scroll through my controller settings as well, just in case people have questions about it. I play on real shooting percentage, so a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, just in case people want to see them and, you know, like the way that my presentation looks. Um, I've got defensive assist strength at 100, box out assist strength at 50. I mean, everything else is pretty much default. 
All right, guys, and that's going to do it for the breakdown of our NBA 2K24 slider set. Um, the sliders are on 2K Share on PS5 Next Gen and PC Next Gen under hashtag Shady. Um, so the PS5 is for sure crossplay with the Xbox Series X. I don't know if the PC is crossplay with the PlayStation 4 um, and the Xbox One. If it's not and you're on one of those systems, you're gonna have to type them in manually. They're listed out in the description. Um, the roster for these sliders is also the same thing, hashtag Shady on PC Old Gen and PS5 Next Gen. Now, uh, tomorrow I'm going to drop another video, which is basically gonna break down how you can make all of the manual changes to your rosters, right? These sliders have a lot of changes, badge edits, roster edits, tendency edits, um, all that good stuff that really Really are important to make the game play a lot better um, for those of you that just wanted to jump in I want to make sure I had something on 2k share but say you've already got a roster that's got I don't know transactions and it's updated or maybe you want to make an off-season roster I'm gonna release be releasing another video that breaks down those changes um, and things of that nature so that you can do that so be on the lookout for that that should be up uh, hopefully within the next 24 hours of this video going out um, other than that I just want to say thank you for all the support on the channel it's been awesome um, I really do think uh, these are the best sliders out some people get a little salty when I say that but always remember that's not about me calling myself like the best slider maker ever that's about every single one of you guys uh, that have helped me and given me uh, just tons of feedback and just straight up yo change this to this and advice and things of that nature uh, this community like we do every year uh, we come through got to give a special shout out to my boy power UG some of these settings came directly from him um, weren't even my idea just said hey try this this will make your set better couldn't have done done it without him DM him back and forth giving me tips and trips um tricks excuse me i think he's gonna have a roster coming out down the road too don't want to put any pressure on him for that but you know we're all going to be looking forward to that because he's on the pc so he's going to be doing like a pc atd style roster so um again special shout out to him and you know everybody that helped uh this set and this channel get where it is so make sure you like the video on your way out subscribe to the content if you deem it worthy and other than that guys it's your boy shady mike i'll catch you on the next one i'm signing out peace threes. <laughs>